Hello and welcome. Happy Friday. This is Fridays with Brandon, and we are in Fluke Fridays, episode number 58. And today what we're going to go over is a product that I've already kind of unboxed one time, but I was actually in the field and was able to test it this week, and that is the FVV100 um, electrical vehicle charging station like adapter so that you can make readings without having to break that uh, charging station apart to diagnose some things. So I'm going to show a video at a customer site that I was at to this week and I actually took a recording and kind of walk you through the process of it. And then um, I don't have any questions and answers this week. So maybe what I'll do is show you how to navigate, um, get more out of the channel, hopefully. So let's start with the video and I might pause it a couple times to, to work with us on this. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. We're getting started. We've got the charging station here. And this was at a customer site, so it wasn't a paid for charging station. Uh, it's for their employees. And I'm hooking up their charging station directly into the FEV100. And I'm doing it with one hand, which is very exciting. I'm trying to hold the camera with the other hand and blocking the camera with my finger. So enjoy that. You can make fun of me, send me a note, make fun of me for that. But now I'm trying to go through the test. So the first thing I did, and you just saw that briefly, I pushed this, let me see if I can rewind it a little. I pushed this PE pretest button and nothing happened. That is a good thing. If this light does not turn on, that means everything is good and you can go to the next test. If the PE stands for earth, so you're doing an earth pretest. If you did not have a good earth ground, then um, if you didn't have good grounding, that would light up. So we move forward to the next test. Now you'll see almost everything is done by this dial here, the ABC and the ABD. Now what I'm doing is that was duty cycle I had pulled up, and I'm just messing with this to try to see kind of what I'm going to get out of it. And in mode A, what that's giving you is essentially what this device is doing, the FEV100. This is simulating an electric car. So if you don't, if you're in charge of maintaining an electrical charge charging stations and you don't have an electrical car to plug in when somebody complains about it, this can simulate that car so that you can kind of see how the charging station reacts to a car and is it supplying the right voltage at the right time and is everything working correctly? So A is you're connected, but it appears to the charging station there is no car connected. B is there is a car connected and we are communicating, but we're not asking for a charge. And then C would be a non-vented charging station and D would be a vented charging station. So you're going to go either A, B, C, or A, B, D, depending on whether you have a vented or non-vented charging station. And you can see I'm hooked up to the top port ports here with my test leads. This is the CP signal outlet output or the control pilot output. And that is the frequency in which the car and the charging station talk to each other. So we're going to see what this is telling the car. I have it on voltage. It's really not telling you much. Basically, there's just a signal that's traveling on top of that voltage for us. And it's going to travel on charge on the same. And it's not really going to change the voltage much, whether you're in B or C, because that's not really relevant to this test. Now, you'll see I'm dinking around with it, trying to figure out what this is telling me. This is the frequency that it's putting out. It's at basically just under a thousand hertz um, and I have to hit it one more time now I'm in duty cycle now duty cycle is something that is telling us something and you can see we were at like 49 point something and then 50 now what does 50 mean on duty cycle and you could you obviously we can see duty cycle on an 87.5 or an 87.5 max you can also see it if you had an oscilloscope you could plug in here and look for uniform wave shape um, outside of this or coming out of this CP signal output. Now, what is it all telling us? Basically, if we can look at the user manual, so you can go to fluke.com, this is where I got it, hit resources, user manual, 
and you get this user manual and you can see that it says duty cycle percentage, this table, these three things, and then max amps. So the duty cycle at 50 amps says that, or 50 duty cycle tells you that this charging station has a max amp output of 30 amps. So this is why you would need this and you know, you can print this user manual off and have that for yourself. But that's what that's telling us, that the charging station can go up to 30 amps. Now I'm going to take it out of the control pilot and I'm going to plug it into the line voltage, L1 to L2. You're going to see is going to be a 240 volt um, difference when I'm in charging mode. Right now you're going to see I'm going to mess around with this and not realize that my range is in manual mode. So I <clears throat> play around with it. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the voltage that I want to see. I'll change this from manual mode to auto mode here in a second. But you should be seeing 240 volts with this charging station between L1 and L2. And you should be seeing 120 volts between L1 and uh, ground, as well as L2 and ground. So this is a way you could see if something was wired incorrectly at a breaker, for instance. But let's say L1 and L2 were on the same phase. You would see zero voltage potential, but you might have 120, or you should have 120 volts between L1 and ground and L2 and ground. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, and we see the voltage. Now, we're going to go through some of the buttons and the testing and kind of why you would do these different tests. When you do these tests, we're going to simulate um, a control pilot uh, air. We're going to simulate a ground air and we're going to trip a GFCI. And you're going to see with these two tests, the CP air E and the ground air that this charging station is going to cut off, but the moment I get rid of the air, it's going to turn back on, and with the GFCI, it's going to turn off, and I have to actually reboot this charging station by turning it back to A, simulating no car, and then reattaching re the car um, through simulation. So, see I hit that button, we went from 240 volts to millivolts, so that's basically zero, and then same with this PE air, same thing, we go down to millivolts, basically zero, and then I'm gonna trip the GFCI. I hit this, it's gonna go to that zero in the millivolt range, but it's gonna stay there even when I take my finger off. You'll notice when I take the dial, act as though, simulate that the, char that the car got disconnected and then reconnected, the, um, sorry, the charging, uh, when I simulated the disconnect and the reconnect, the charging station went ahead and sourced the 240 volts again. So hopefully that's helpful. This is kind of the meat of this one. I was also going to show you guys, while I have you here, the YouTube channel and like kind of what you guys can do with this channel. So if you go to the YouTube channel... One thing sometimes people ask for, customers ask for, hey, do you have a video on this or that? Yeah, I don't think there's a way you can do this on your phone, but if you're not familiar, this little search icon, you can search only within my channel if you use this search. So if you like had a question on like a 1732, you could search that and then boom, you see all the videos that I have referenced to 1732 in there and you could watch just those videos. Or if you're interested in, you know, a 773 loop calibrator, you can see all the videos that I've made for the loop calibrators and what playlists they show up on and different things. So I hope that's helpful. Um, just another way for you guys to use this. Obviously, there are playlists, and I try to do... You're seeing some of my personal playlists, but... Um, the playlists you'll see are just the ones from my channel and you'll see different things for specific products or unboxings or tips and tricks and those are good ways to find the the videos that you're looking for as well so i hope you guys have a great fourth of july weekend for those of you that are the u.s we're celebrating our independence for those of you other places in the world that's what the u.s does on this on the fourth and uh have a great weekend no matter where you're at take care